everybody, I'm Chitanshu from Dream Abroad and in this video I want to talk about a very recent update that is coming from some of the students who have applied for the Canadian student visa. They are being called for the visa interview by the Canadian Embassy and this is very rare actually if we talk about the visa interview for student visa. In case of US it's quite common but when we talk about Canada it is very rare that Canada would call students for interviews for a student visa. So in this video we'll be talking in detail about this topic. Why is that Canada has suddenly started these visa interviews for students? For some people it might be a bad bad news but for some it might actually be a good news so we'll be talking about that and most importantly if you get such a request what should you expect in that interview and of course some very important tips to get your visa approved even after getting the interview call. All of this is coming up. Okay guys, before we start talking about these details, let me make it very clear that this news has started spreading just very recently, a uh, few days back only. And it's not that all the students who have applied for the uh, Canadian student visa are actually getting the request to go for the interview. It's just for some of them. It is very early to say that what percentage of applications are actually receiving these interview calls but it is highly likely that these interview calls are being sent to those candidates, those applications where they find some kind of ambiguity. So first of all let's talk about why is Canada suddenly sending these interview calls for international student visas. So we don't know the exact reasons why and probably RCC would not even um, issue a statement over this because it is completely official and legal um, and it is actually a part of their process but there are high chances that they are doing it for a bunch of reasons. What reason could that be? First of all, the diversity. I talked about the student rejection. In 2022, the rejection rate for student visas has shot up to almost 50%. Of course, there are so many applications coming from India and they would want a diverse culture here. Pre-pandemic, the rejection rate was around 35%. Now it's around 45 to 50%. So diversity could be one reason. After that, the main reason could be the ambiguity in the files. Of course, being from India, I know it very well. And probably you would also agree that it is very easy in India to get some fake documents and this is one of the main reasons there's so many consultants out there not even regulated ones they actually promise clients that if you give us 25 to 30 lakh rupees we'll give you a complete package we will uh, arrange IELTS test for you we'll get the desired bands somehow manipulate it and then of course you'll get the acceptance letter they also promise that you know we'll get you the uh, visa all of this is being done which is not at all legal. It is no more a secret that the IELTS score are manipulated very easily. Sometimes you know a person is being sent who is a lookalike of the, of the other uh, applicant and sometimes these scores are being manipulated, fake documents are being presented, you know whatever you can even think of that happens. And because of that reason if me and you know it then the Canadian government also knows that. Not just in IELTS, it happens, uh, you know, with the proof of funds, it happens with the transcripts, with uh, the mark sheets, with the uh, education certificates, almost in every other document. So probably that is one of the most crucial reasons why the Canadian government is asking for the interviews. Also recently there have been some incidents in Canada where the international students have created some big big issues and probably I'll be talking about that in some other video. Uh, but yes, they know that international students coming from India, they have been involved in some very big unwanted issues and of course that is a crime and they have seen that many Indian students have been doing that so that might be another reason. Those students are facing deportation but obviously that tag goes to all the students to the complete community so that might be another reason you never know okay so for all those students who have already applied for the student visa or maybe are going to apply in the near future is this actually a bad news for you or a good news so if i tell you my perspective i feel that it's actually a good news because number one for all those students who 
don't have any ambiguity in their uh, in their application i don't feel that you would actually get those interview calls so you don't need to worry some of you who might have some ambiguity in your application who might be getting these interview calls this is actually a good news and why i say so because probably they're giving you a second chance to prove that you know all of your application whatever we have stated there all the documents everything is proper just think of it as a second chance that you're getting to prove that yes you actually deserve that visa yes you actually deserve to study in canada but don't think of it as a bad news if you compare there was some ambiguity in your application and your application was getting rejected versus getting a second chance of going to an interview and making sure that you explain all those ambiguities to them and answer all their queries and maybe getting the visa there are high chances you'll get the visa after that so don't worry too much about it but yes it is a big big reason to worry for all those people who have produced some fake documents any fake document it might be a fake gic fake uh, education credential document maybe a fake ielts certificate anything wrong that you have done anything illegal that you know you have done yes you are in trouble they probably have caught that and that's one of the reason why they have called you for the interview okay now time for some quick tips for all those uh, students who might be getting this interview calls or might have already got it first of all if you are one of those people who have produced any fake documents or provided wrong information sorry i don't have any tips for you because uh, you know i totally don't advocate uh, that practice but for all those people who have uh, provided their genuine documents provided their correct information don't worry as i told earlier there's no reason to worry here yes you know when we go for any interview for any test we get nervous so the first tip is that don't get nervous probably you would be asked about your documents you might be asked about your educational background whatever you might have written in the sop so sop is very important here many times you know we personally don't prepare those sops sometimes it's the educational consultant some content writers or anyone who is experienced enough does that for uh, for many candidates but if you are also one of them you should be very sure of exactly what you have written in that sop you should back all your comments all their concerns with valid comments from your side i actually have a screenshot of the email that was sent to one of the students who contacted me and uh, it very specifically says that this interview first of all should not be missed because there are very few chances that it might be rescheduled so don't even think about missing this or thinking of rescheduling the interview first of all don't even do that then the documents that you have to take with you so your passport your previous education transcript diploma certificates and degrees uh your letter of acceptance evidence of financial capability then evidence of your english or french test which means your ielts test most probably and then any other information you feel demonstrates your purpose and motivation to study in canada which is your sop so all these documents might be checked must be verified from you first of all make sure that you know you know every small detail that has been mentioned in those documents and your sop make sure that you know why you are going to canada you are able to convince them that after your studies are complete you know maybe after doing some work you will be able to go back to uh, to india because always remember for a temporary visa it is expected that you would go back to your home country get to know more about your college more about your course maybe earlier just the education consultant or the uh, immigration lawyer just told you something about it okay this one is good for you just go with that because there are high chances that you'll get the visa if you choose this course don't think of that any more if you're getting the interview call just go through each and every point of your sop i cannot stress enough on this why did you choose canada why did you choose that particular province why did you choose that particular college or university why did you choose that particular course you should have answers to all of these questions and of course they might ask any other question don't get nervous if your intent is clear if you are worthy enough you will certainly get that visa 
it's not a reason to worry at all okay so that's it for this video guys if i get more information on this topic i'll try to make more videos if you like this video please let me know in the comment section below so that i get motivated to make more videos on similar topics whatever your queries feedback or comments might be please put them down in the comments you know the drill click the thumbs up button if you like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel before moving on to the next video all the best i'll see you in the next video